Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Diablo 4. Let's just get myself squidged in a little. Uh, so, uh, we just finished our Monday night session uh, with my brother's softcore character. Uh, so I thought it'd be good to take stock of what we have left to do over here. Um, we're not going to do the PvP stuff uh, on a hardcore character. That's um, probably not the smartest plan. Uh, we can push for the tier 50 dungeon. Uh, we can push for level 90 and upgrading our potion. So that's three more things quite easily, which will take us to 7 out of 12. Uh, defeating the Beast and Ice, defeating Lord Zir, and equipping ancestral uh, legendary items. Also things that we're going to probably get done relatively relatively straightforward by just grinding up the levels. Um, so running more Nightmare Dungeons is really where our time is going to be spent. Okay, well, we may as well get right to it. Uh, I think we were running 35s and 36s. So we'll start with the we'll start with the 35 to warm up. Mm, resistance break is not keen on it, but let's let's give it a go. See how it feels. We're literally about to gain a level, so that's. Uh, that's going to make it a bit easier in terms of our uh, Paragon points because we're going to obviously stick a bit more in uh, for more resistance or more survivability. It, I, either way, we're going to be... Uh, I know we were pushing towards the uh, next legendary node now, weren't we? That was it. And it's always going to be a fine balance between... Offensive and defensive capabilities. There we go. Yeah, we were literally a fraction of a moment away from it all. Okay, so we've already gone down for poison conditioned. Uh, we are eventually going to push past it and come up this way. Um, but for right now, Heading up to get the extra damage over time, uh, and the extra damage is it's going to be better for us. I love it. Okay, we're looking for the two watchmen. I'm out of fury. Plenty of resources for us to be getting in here. I'm I'm so heartbroken. My uh, my brother found Razor Plate on his softball character while we were playing last night. It feels like it's a very rare item for the amount of time that we've been running Torment Four, or hell, even even Torment Three. And we have not seen it yet. This character's not even seen uh, Gore's Devastating Grips either. Um, which is another thing that I'd like, but not strictly essential for our build. That was nice and solid. Conduit Shrine. Ooh. A trapped Conduit Shrine. Well, I don't mind if I do. Felt like I got stuck in place for a moment there. The danger is if you're not attacking, you're not doing anything. Which means you're not healing, you're not moving away, you're not dodging. I'm low on fury. And another paragon point. I do love these um, these trapped things. They can be 
incredibly useful. Okay, we're going to push up for Lacerator, but we're going to come across first. Not a huge amount of uh, stuff from that. Grab the items and then conduit ourselves up. Not ready yet. Conduit's nice, but it's not nearly as powerful in comparison to our regular attacking as it used to be early game. Cross to find the other. And he's going to be around somewhere. Well, maybe we got hit by a trap or something like that. That's always a possibility. When it's so busy on the screen, it's kind of hard to tell what there might be on your feet. Watchman is just over here. Now these mobs are spot on for us in terms of um, experience, but they're they're not dangerous. Dangerous. So running thirty fives is fine. We could push up to thirty sixes. I'm going to push back and. Uh, Open up the door. In fact, we're gonna we're gonna gain a level soon enough. I need more fury. But we could probably get away with just moving straight up. Like almost the first dungeon we do, we're gonna end up getting up to level eighty. damage reduction in there. The resistance breakers aren't really affecting as much in this. All cleared out. Good, 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 good. Dodge the... Uh, the trap on the side. Who puts a trap indoors in a place like that? That not ready yet. seems a little bit excessive. Okay, we'll grab the items. We are getting some uh, some drops from this. But mostly we're, we're at the point in the game where we're looking at the uh, the item level, item power, and hoping for good rolls on all the, all the bits we find. The yellow is probably not even worth us picking up at this stage. I'm low on fury. Oh my god, that that guy up the top. How are we supposed to hit him? I'm assuming we can't, so we'll just ignore him. And instead, focus on the progress we can make. Yeah, there is resistance breakers in this one. I had to double check because I've not I've not felt like we've been at risk. Which means our resistances are in a really good spot for being able to run these dungeons.
Come on, hit me, hit me. And there we go. Ancestral pole arm. We've got some bits and bobs. But we are absolutely chock a block. So let's just put the points in for Blood Feeder. Almost got it up a level. We'll put our Paragon point in over there. And then we rinse and repeat. So the uh, softcore character took on Varshan at level 75, 76, and that seemed fine. So I think if we push to 85 to give ourselves a good buffer, um, then we won't really need to worry about it. So at this point, damage to close enemies is a really nice thing to have. But I do like our current hammer. I don't think our current hammer is going to end up being improved. Unless we get something with the same things on it. But higher item power. And this one's got lower. So that's just going to go under the hammer. That's going to go under the hammer. That's going to go... Our chest armor could be improved. Plus to maximum life is quite nice, but I wish I had at least one resist on it. One resist and damage reduction of some kind is, is really like the sweet spot that we're heading for. Okay, well, over here, 30 can go. Probably the 35s can go. And we'll do the 36 next. We have enough um, enough bits to do Varshan three times. That would be terrifying, terrifyingly dangerous. Like, we're tanky enough that I wouldn't worry too much about it. But it's the uh, it's the ads and and the fact that it draws it out so much. Okay, we're looking for the dead knights and their bodies. Yeah, something that improves our maximum life without costing us really much in terms of... Wait, is it not this way? Oh, there's a psychic. Uh, that doesn't cost us much in terms of our um, killing ability or resistances would be really great. Because extra survivability from the extra life, that's just plain sensible. Um... We're not doing that much actual damage uh, in terms of like attacking. Yeah, it's a fair amount, but it's uh, the majority of our stuff is uh, coming from thorns. There's the key. That was really easy. So being able to um, improve our health. Uh, it would improve our damage from Hemomancy, which would be great. And on top of that, it would give us that extra survivability that we need. You know what, let's just go this way. Now that we have that heat key. Don't have enough fury. We can just blitz through this one. Corrupted Keep has got the potential to be a very fast run. Potential. It's also got the potential to be a little dangerous because we are punching higher than we should be. Not 
too bad, not too bad. You do notice the extra damage that you take from mobs when you're that one extra level different. I think it's mostly down to the um, the armor level, actually. But given we need Atlas carriers in in, uh, in here, we're gonna head down and check for anyone extra that might be. Might be hiding down in the corner. Uh, ooh, sanguine pellet. Sure, let's let's do some more blood-related stuff. This will get us some nice XP. you can get these guys, uh, these pillars to regen, because it looks like they count as allies. Well, didn't manage to defend the ritual, so I guess we're just on a murder spree. really hard when they uh, spawn in and focus straight on pillars. Like, it's not even a, a speed thing. Got a little bit of blood. Which we don't really need, but still nice for the uh, extra experience. We've almost gained another Paragon point as well. Momentum going. This point goes straight in there. The biggest worry with um, with dungeons where we're punching above our weight is um, multiplicative damage sources. If we end up making ourselves um, Oh, sorry, let me rephrase it. If we get hit by a mob, makes us vulnerable. That's going to multiply any damage that we take. We're already going to be suffering a penalty to some things because of uh, level difference. Whether it's uh, our resistances from armor or, or the, uh, the various elements. And it very, very quickly escalates once it gets multiplicative. Okay, we have all the animus. Let's go drop it. Into the urn. Yeah, our life is 7255 while we have our... In fact, no, it goes up even higher, doesn't it? What does it go up to? 
8525. <clears throat> I reckon we can push that higher with some uh, some better equipment, but uh But that's going to be uh, down to the lucky rolls. Ooh, that was painful. Do not like being on the volcanic thing. The Volcanic um, modifier for the dungeon is possibly the most dangerous thing about this dungeon. Okay, blood feeder goes up. Back to town, clear some space, come back in. We didn't get anything really interesting on that. It's a bit of a shame, but uh, can't always get good stuff. That's just a that's just a big ass amulet. Oh hello. Sixty four percent for thorns, I like that. This could just go under the hammer. Um but the thorns at the moment, we've only got 52%, so that is that is quite a step up. Let's get that extracted and put in. I said you can't always get nice stuff. That is an upgrade. That is a significant, significant improvement. Okay, 36, 37. Let's, uh, let's go for the 36. Unstoppable monsters, monster regen, that's fine. Nightmare portal's also fine, and we deal more physical damage. Take a look at um, what I've got on this character in terms of equipment uh, and make a comparison between this and my softcore character because this character is definitely stronger, uh, more survivable. I wouldn't say we necessarily kill faster because it's hard to hard to judge that solo versus um, duo, but. Certainly the character feels more tanky in general. But as a hardcore character that's a higher level, that's that's to be expected. Like we've, we've geared for extra life specifically. Well, he died. That was a thing that happened. Almost gained another level. Let's free this prisoner. My savior. There we go. Hey, we can upgrade our healing potion to major. That's one of the things we need to do for the season journey. Yeah, getting... 
hamstrung slash trapped by uh, actual traps. It's not fun because you end up standing there looking like a bit of a lemon. And worrying that uh, with nightmare portals as well, you're going to end up with something appearing next to you and exploding. And you won't be able to get away or do anything about it. I could, of course, change... Um, Change one of my vampire powers over for metamorphosis. Um, that would give us a lot more ability to run away, I want to say. But I do like the uh, setup of skills that we have right now. I think it's I think it's working well for us. I'm impressed that we've managed to keep Hemomancy so relevant um, for the uh, random mob clearing. I think a lot of it is down to the fact that we have um, extra damage to healthy enemies. So when we're opening, we're we're doing a lot of uh, lot of damage on on the mobs because the Hemomancy will get multiplied up. But yeah, it is interesting to uh, to see how things pan out in, in reality after you've done some theory crafting. Bless you. Okay, still two prisoners for us to find, and they're right here. That is a terrible place for a nightmare portal to appear. Like right in the way. Wouldn't have made it without you. Bless you. I'm not ready. Okay, barrier's being dispelled. Now we're looking for animus from the animus carriers. As we've done many times before. Now running these uh, these dungeons because they're all over uh, tier thirty. We're going to be getting uh, drops so we can make that uh, glacial uh, rift sigil and go fight some uh, some other world bosses. Never done that before. Don't know what it would entail, but I think we'll be a higher level before we actually go and do that just from from the nature of it so probably about the same time we uh, go fight Varshan and Grigoire not ready yet but I think as long as we're not reckless with the way we fight we should uh, definitely get there this season And yeah, I've, I've said it before, but I think they've I think they've done a good job this season of pacing. So, if you're someone who can play for an hour a day on average, or five five hours a week, I should say, you're probably going to get through most of the uh, most of the quest targets. And that's a pretty huge thing to manage, really. That level of um, balancing. When you're working out, um, like, uh, leveling speed and, and things like that, I assume it's all done with, uh, with spreadsheets and analyses. But so hard to say what actually goes on because I'm sure that there's like internal beat testing and, and stuff that they do but honestly it could be anything couldn't it I know this guy really wants to hit me but let's put this point in 
I will kill him in a moment. I just want to cramp the shrine. And push on through. So we're getting as much efficiency as possible from the shrine. But yeah, now we're level 80, these guys are level appropriate for us. I don't have enough fury. And they do feel strong, but they don't feel excessively strong. So a bit of extra life would probably go some way towards helping us feel a bit more survivable. Or something that could um, reduce our cooldowns, maybe. So that we're shouting more frequently, getting our uh, damage reduction from that up a bit more often. Yeah, lots of explosions everywhere. Still got loads of... Oh, I left some animus back, back behind. Must have appeared after the explosion had been going for a while. Let's go back and grab it. I hope there's not any more that I've missed. Ignoring that chat. I mean, the thing will go round in a big loop, so... As long as we're mostly in the right... right place. Right, you're gone. And your friends are gone as well. Let's go up. Often I'll go, um... I'll go down around that point. It doesn't really make a difference because it goes all round in a loop, but fun to vary things now and then. I don't think we'll do this because we don't really need any more blood. And that's just gonna slow us down from getting our potion upgraded. So let's just keep looking for the Animus Carriers. This guy is stealing life. Can't be having that. There's the final one. Razor Pulse was his name. Pretty good name for, for a demon, actually. Okay, we can go deposit this and take out the big tamale. And yeah, we're almost halfway through level 80. goes. Get those sacred boots and put the points in. Blood Feeder is up to rank 11. That's coming along so nicely. And we've got four distilled fear. We still need a hell of a lot more, but uh, yeah, it's uh, coming along very nicely. Let's go back to town. We'll upgrade our potion and uh, clear out our inventory. <clears throat> uh, 
Now, at some point, we're going to have to go back to the Blood Harvest to uh, to keep grinding through it, but at the moment, it's not not as useful way of spending our time. Uh, that can just go. This can just go. That can just go. Likewise, and gone. Little bit of blood to spend. Uh, what did we? Blowing veins was still waiting, and a cursed touch was still waiting. Hey, there's flowing veins. So it's just a cursed touch we're waiting on. And in terms of the bounty board, yeah, we're up to rank 12 already. So that that's going to come like when we uh, when we actually just grind it out. Okay, well we can uh, we can do another one. Uh, push up to 37. Monster overpower resist. Monster poison resist. These don't matter. Poison enchanted could be a bit painful, but I'm sure it's going to be fine. Ooh, actually. We've got Tree of Whispers reward. Let's go grab that first, then we'll head to the dungeon. I did not even see that. I can't do that here. This is going to give us even more chance for done. killing Varsh, and I'm sure. An ancestral axe could be spectacular. What did it give us? All stats, strength, overpower damage, damage while berserking. It's a bit pants, really. Not got a huge item level. No. No, it could just go under the hammer. More resources, if nothing else. Okay, so we do have a dungeon already. Interesting, you can reset... Oh, no, it's... Uh, it's saying it's locked. There it is. <clears throat> I was about to pull out the um, the little side bit so that we could find where it was. Not necessary, thankfully. Ah, smells good. Don't stir too much, though. Sorry, guys. I know you were just adventurers coming into this tomb, but you know I've got to kill everyone in here. Which includes potentially good guys. Oh, I forgot to do my potion. Oh, well. Have to try and remember it. The damage reduction's gone from uh, from these guys. And now the poison's gone as well, so we can grab the bits. Yeah, I don't mind about us doing less overpower damage. It's really not how we deal our damage. Like, even if, um, even if it was... 50% on the next attack if we were doing overpower like super consistently and that was how our build worked um, one attack doing a bit less damage not a problem like, it's a little bit inconvenient but it's not like all monsters take 60% less bleeding damage which would have a significant effect Let's 
good monster density, I'll say that. This is a proper populated crypt. The thing I find amusing is you've got skeletons right next to uh, cliff bearers. And like you wouldn't you wouldn't traditionally assume that those two would be uh, would be allies in any situation. Okay, cool. Gilmore, Bandit Captain. That gives us the crypt key. So back round we go through the door. One thing I like about um, uh, Diablo 4 is because they've got these dungeons set up like this, it's going to be relatively easy for them to introduce new dungeons and new mechanics should they choose. I say should they choose because, of course, they may decide that this is exactly how they want it to run, but... <clears throat> There's nothing to stop them doing it in, in terms of, like, um, fitting a new place onto the map and, uh, and making it work, or having somewhere that you can teleport to. There's plenty of places on the uh, on the map where you look at and go, oh, there could be something there, and at the moment there is nothing. So there's there's lots of placeholders almost, for one better way of describing it. Hey, another power complaint. Okay. Flat, extra physical damage, and extra physical damage over time. Uh, let's push on up this side. What's the shrine? It's a combat shrine, that'd be good fun. Really easily, thanks to the conduit. Let's go find the last one. That's the door we're going to need to go through. Hopefully the other one's just over this side. I must wait. Just a little bit away from him as he does his explosion and push on through to this room. There's the final one we need. Ooh, blood seekers are coming. Ah, that's more than just a blood seeker. That is one of the ancients. He is level 91. Thankfully, he's not doing too much. I mean, gave us a couple of bits. <clears throat> now, if we'd had something like that crop up with the Butcher, that would have been problematic. Each of the each of the things like that are normally normally manageable, but it's when you get multiples of them at the same time that things really start falling apart. Let's uh, head on through. And 
then I think we'll probably go to the blood harvest and do a little bit of farming there. Maybe we'll uh, try and take out the council. <clears throat> I don't remember how many uh, how many lures we have. This guy is possibly the most annoying because <clears throat> those winds. Cannot fight in those winds. Blood feeder goes up. Very nice. We didn't get a huge amount, but uh, we got some items, so some resources coming out of that. Who knows, maybe there'll be another incremental upgrade for Thorns in, in the list. Uh, nope. 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 And nope. And that's all, all the blood that we've got as well. Right, Old Stones, Old Stones, Hallowed Ossuary, Flooded Depths and Conclave. None of those are the Belfry. Uh, the Belfry being probably the fastest one that I can run. So let's uh, let's do our potion. Ooh, what do we need? We need just a little bit of life spain. Okay, we can probably could probably make some life spain. There we go. <coughs> And for the next one, we need Howler Moss, which is, which is going to be fine. Okay, down to Kedbardu. Let's uh, let's go hunt and do some uh, some vampire slaying. In fact, we'll uh, we'll come in at Farber. Hundred and fifty four lures, so yeah, we could fight uh, the council. We've actually not fought the council, uh, fought the council, yeah, fought the council, uh, fought the council too many times uh, with a hardcore character. Erring on the side of caution, it has definitely led us to trying to be more survivable. What's that? Hey, there's a villager that needs rescuing. I'll go all the way around the edge though. And they did not make it. Varying definitions of rescued. That guy is no longer under the thrall of the vampires. <laughs> These mobs are, are even under our level now, so... <coughs> really not much of a risk to us. we can. As we get um, different items, we're going to need more packs anyway, so it definitely doesn't hurt.
just totally ruined someone's lunch. Okay, I think we're gonna we're gonna do the council. That's that one. Not so much stealing as I seek to kill everyone near you. All the vampires. As well as giving us hunters a claim, this is going to be working towards some of those uh, whispers as well. So, even more usage. I'm going to save our berserking until the council actually appears. Ooh, cool, pair of blood seekers. <coughs> well, let's get it all going then. Seeing as it's all kicking off at the same time. There we go. All goes so quickly when your thorns are in position. Not bad. Didn't give us as much XP as I expected it would. But at the very least, that was a whisper. We still have time, so we'll keep grinding out more, more vampires. And get more lures so we can do it again, really. Plenty more packs, right? We need to clear our inventory out. I <laughs> just love the reflection of the arrow back onto him. Like, canonically, I could see it as ricochet. Ptoing. So close to being My level 81. Watch so much. Okay, what did we get? Uh, that could just go. That could just go. Oh my god, it is a perfect needle flare. It is perfect. That can go, that can go. The needle flare, that is, that is really, really good. We're going to extract it. It's pro it, in fact, I'm going to put it straight onto our... No, I'm not. I'm going to extract it. Uh, and I'm going to save it until we get something with item power over 900. I don't know if it's worth saving it at this point. Because it's so rare to see a perfect... Well, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it straight onto stuff. Uh, but I'll do that. Um, I'll do that between episodes. We've still got a bit of time, we can do some more killing before we finish up in the next few minutes. Uh, what else do we have to do? Save villagers and, yeah, six more... Six more blood reavers. Grab this uh, chest. There's some blood readers. It's a few of them. We still need a few more. That 
gives us level 81. Okay, on my list of stuff, we are filling out both of these, but we'll push for the legendary node first. So just a few more reavers. There we go. And we can head to the Tree of Whispers. to finish up. Okay, straight down to the tree. Who knows, maybe we'll be lucky and get Razor Plate. It's unlikely, but you never know. Red collection of two-handed weapons. Well, we've definitely got a few, uh, <laughs> a few bits for for Varshan. We can do some salvaging up, um, but I think that's going to be a good point to finish this episode off. Uh, level eighty-one. We have a perfect needle flare. Um, this is a really good uh, good place for us to be. Let's just uh, extract this and do it now. Uh, so thank you very much for coming along, everyone. I do hope you have enjoyed this. As always, if you have, be sure to give a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so, and you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for another episode of Diablo 4. See you soon.